The AI community is buzzing with excitement at the news from the premier conference for AI enthusiasts, researchers, and business leaders. From the latest in AI hardware to the most innovative AI software, there was no shortage of exciting announcements. But with so much information to take in, it can be hard to get a clear picture of what it all means. In this video, we will unpack all the latest from GTC 2024 and make sense of it all. Let's start. Let's go. I sit right here. This is what we announced to you today. Number one, Project GR00T. During the recent conference in San Jose, NVIDIA unveiled Project GR00T, a groundbreaking model designed specifically for humanoid robots. This innovative system empowers robots to comprehend human language and mimic our movements, enhancing their ability to engage with us effectively. In addition to Project GR00T, NVIDIA showcased the Jetson Thor computer and enhancements to the Isaac Robotics platform. Jetson Thor boasts remarkable power and safety features, simplifying the execution of intricate tasks by robots. NVIDIA is collaborating with leading robotics firms to propel AI-infused robotics to new heights. The Isaac platform receives significant updates, such as the introduction of Isaac Lab for simulations and OSMO for managing robot learning data. Similarly, they introduced the Isaac Manipulator for precise robot arm control and the Isaac Perceptor for enhanced vision in mobile robots. These advancements signal a paradigm shift in how robots function across various industries. Number two, NVIDIA unveils DGX SuperPod. NVIDIA has made a significant stride with the unveiling of the DGX SuperPod, an advanced AI supercomputer featuring the GB200 Grace Blackwell superchips. These chips are specifically designed to handle large-scale AI tasks with efficiency. Moreover, the SuperPod boasts a unique liquid-cooled design and ample memory capacity, enhancing its AI processing capabilities. With powerful CPUs and GPUs integrated into each GB200 system, the SuperPod ensures exceptional speed and performance, particularly for tasks involving complex language models. To further enhance performance and streamline management, the DGX SuperPod utilizes NVIDIA Bluefield 3 DPUs and Quantum X800 InfiniBand. These components enable predictive maintenance and troubleshooting, ensuring uninterrupted operation and optimal performance. In addition to the DGX SuperPod, NVIDIA has introduced the DGX B200 system, which offers flexibility for various AI applications and incorporates advanced networking functionalities. Both systems come equipped with NVIDIA AI Enterprise software and benefit from expert support. Interested parties can expect these systems to be available later this year through NVIDIA's global network of partners. Number three, X800 series networking switches. Expanding their offerings, NVIDIA unveiled the X800 series networking switches, including Quantum X800 InfiniBand and Spectrum X800 Ethernet. These switches are designed to deliver ultra-fast speeds, which are essential for AI and computing tasks requiring high throughput. These networking solutions play a crucial role in accelerating applications within data centers, leveraging NVIDIA's latest Blackwell architecture-based products. Leading cloud providers such as Microsoft Azure, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, and CoreWeave have already recognized the significance of fast networking in driving AI innovation and have embraced these solutions accordingly. NVIDIA's commitment extends beyond hardware. They offer robust software support for easier network management. Next year, Quantum X800 and Spectrum X800 will hit the market through vendors like Dell Technologies, Lenovo, and Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Number four, the collaboration between Microsoft and NVIDIA. Expanding their collaboration, Microsoft and NVIDIA have joined forces more closely, making headlines. Microsoft is accelerating and Microsoft is gearing up for Blackwell. Microsoft and NVIDIA has a wide ranging partnership. They're integrating NVIDIA's advanced AI and Omniverse technology into Microsoft Azure, Azure AI, and Microsoft 365. This partnership equips Azure with NVIDIA's formidable Grace Blackwell GB 200 and Quantum X 800 InfiniBand, ideal for complex AI tasks. They're also collaborating in healthcare, 
leveraging Azure and NVIDIA DGX Cloud for innovative projects. Furthermore, Microsoft Azure will host NVIDIA Omniverse Cloud APIs, facilitating data sharing and visualization. Number five, Omniverse Cloud APIs. NVIDIA's discussion delved into Omniverse Cloud APIs, which seamlessly integrate their digital twin platform into various software applications. Major industry players like Siemens, ANSYS, and Cadence are leveraging these APIs for real-time rendering and smoother data exchange. For instance, Siemens integrates them into their Accelerator platform, ANSYS applies them to autonomous vehicle testing, and Cadence incorporates them into their Reality Digital Twin platform for smarter data centers. Partners such as Trimble, Hexagon, and Rockwell Automation are embracing Omniverse Cloud APIs to revolutionize construction and automation processes. These APIs help create robots that can think for themselves, and big companies like WPP Media, Monks, and Continental are on board too. Omniverse is changing industries by making things bigger and better. Number six, the collaboration between AWS and NVIDIA. We've worked closely with NVIDIA to integrate our networking and our virtualization capabilities with their chips to bring our GPU instances to customers. And today, I'm thrilled to announce that we are expanding our partnership with NVIDIA. AWS plans to combine NVIDIA's powerful Blackwell GPU platform with AWS's setup. This means they're offering super powerful Grace Blackwell Super Chips and B100 Tensor Core GPUs. This partnership is making generative AI even more powerful by mixing NVIDIA systems with AWS's technology. Adam Salipsky, AWS's CEO, says this is a huge deal for AI. The Blackwell platform, along with AWS's network and virtualization features, can handle massive language models in real time. AWS is about to offer EC2 instances with B100 GPUs, which will speed up generative AI. Also, NVIDIA DGX Cloud instances on AWS will help create cutting-edge AI models. Security is a top priority, too, with encryption and AWS Nitro enclaves to keep data safe. They're working on Project SEBA together, aiming to build a powerful AI supercomputer on AWS, pushing AI even further. AWS and NVIDIA are also collaborating on drug discovery and healthcare AI, showing their dedication to advancing AI in all fields. NVIDIA isn't stopping there. Number seven, the launch of the Earth2 climate platform. NVIDIA unveiled Earth2, a cloud platform aimed at addressing the economic impacts of extreme weather caused by climate change. Valued at $140 billion, Earth2 utilizes NVIDIA CUDA X microservices and DGX cloud APIs for high resolution weather simulations. These simulations powered by CoreDiff generative AI are significantly faster and more efficient than previous methods. Meanwhile, Taiwan's Central Weather Administration is excited to use Earth-2 for better typhoon forecasts, aiming to save lives through early warnings. With NVIDIA Omniverse integration, Earth-2 lets us see weather impacts in real time. The weather company is also keen to use Earth-2 APIs to boost its Weatherverse services. Early fans include weather analytics platforms like Spire and Mediamatics, plus startups working on climate solutions. With the NVIDIA DGX Cloud, Earth2 can do simulations faster and bigger than ever before. Number eight, generative AI microservices. NVIDIA also revealed more than two dozen healthcare tools designed to advance global healthcare. These tools, known as microservices, are powered by AI and can be used on any cloud platform. Among them is NVIDIA NIM, which speeds up drug discovery and medical imaging. These microservices are being integrated into various platforms like Cadence's molecular design tool for drug discovery and are being used to develop specialized AI agents by Hippocratic AI. A bridge and flywheel are two notable innovations showcased at the event. A bridge uses AI to generate clinical notes, while flywheel focuses on transforming AI models into microservices for medical imaging and data management. These advancements aim to improve patient care and healthcare research by addressing industry needs and improving outcomes. Developers can access these microservices through NVIDIA AI Enterprise 5.0, available on certified systems and cloud platforms, facilitating their widespread adoption in the healthcare sector. Number nine, the introduction of DriveThor. Thor's multi-compute domain isolation lets concurrent time-critical processes run without interruption. 
NVIDIA introduced DriveThor, a centralized computer system for next-generation vehicle fleets. This system, powered by generative AI, promises advanced features and safe autonomous driving capabilities for electric vehicles, autonomous trucks, and robo-taxis. Leading transportation companies like BYD, Hyper, and Xpeng have already adopted DriveThor for their fleets, while others like Neuro, Plus, Wabi, and WeRide are using it for level four autonomous driving solutions. With the new NVIDIA Blackwell architecture, DriveThor offers exceptional performance for secure autonomous operations. In partnership with Oracle, NVIDIA is delivering sovereign AI solutions globally to assist governments and enterprises in deploying AI technologies with operational controls. These solutions, leveraging Oracle's distributed cloud and AI infrastructure, alongside NVIDIA's accelerated computing and generative AI software, promote economic growth while ensuring data sovereignty. Organizations like Avalok, Team IM, and E and UAE have already embraced these solutions for digital transformation and enhanced AI capabilities while maintaining control over their data. Number 10, Google Cloud and NVIDIA's partnership. Google Cloud and NVIDIA revealed that they have strengthened their partnership to support the machine learning ML community by enabling the development, scaling, and management of generative AI applications. Similarly, Google announced its adoption of the new NVIDIA Grace Blackwell AI computing platform and the availability of NVIDIA DGX cloud service on Google Cloud. This means that Google will utilize the NVIDIA H100 powered DGX cloud platform now generally available on Google Cloud A3VM instances to further support ML initiatives. Number 11, SAPC and NVIDIA's collaboration. SAPC and NVIDIA have joined forces to speed up how businesses use advanced AI and handle data across SAP's cloud solutions. They are focusing on adding AI capabilities like Joule Copilot into SAP's lineup with the SAP Generative AI Hub. This partnership is all about helping companies use AI better and get more insights. They are planning to beef up AI capabilities in the SAP Business Technology Platform with help from NVIDIA's Foundry Service. Also, they are working on cool ways to use AI in SAP's cloud solutions and to blend AI data sources with SAP Datasphere. By the end of 2024, these upgrades should be ready for use. Number 12, NVIDIA's 6G Research Cloud Platform. This is about shaking up wireless tech with AI-driven innovation. Big names like ANSYS, Samsung, and Keysight are backing this platform, which offers tools for researchers to push forward 6G development. This platform brings together 6G and AI, promising smarter connections and systems. They're paying special attention to testing and simulation, crucial for making 6G better. Researchers can hop on board through the NVIDIA 6G developer program, sparking collaboration and fresh ideas in wireless tech. Number 13, ABCIQ Supercomputer. NVIDIA also spilled the beans about Japan's ABCIQ Supercomputer. It is aimed at supercharging Japan's quantum computing push, and it's leaning on NVIDIA tech for the ride. Packing over 2,000 NVIDIA H100 Tensor Core GPUs and powered by CUDAQ, this beast will handle intense quantum simulations across different fields. Additionally, ABCIQ wants to push the boundaries of quantum tech and its real-world applications. It's all part of Japan's plan to dig deep into how quantum computing can amp up AI, energy, and biology. The supercomputer will dive into things like quantum circuit simulation, quantum machine learning, and mixing classical and quantum systems. Number 14, NVIDIA's Quantum Cloud. NVIDIA's recent launch of NVIDIA Quantum Cloud, a cloud service to supercharge quantum computing research in areas like chemistry, biology, and material science is making waves too. Built on the CUDAQ Quantum Computing Platform, it lets users craft and test new quantum algorithms and apps in the cloud. This cloud service packs some powerful features, including the generative quantum eigensolver and tools for tackling tough quantum chemistry problems. NVIDIA has partnered with over 160 companies, including big names like Google Cloud and Microsoft Azure, to bring quantum cloud to the forefront. Early access is up for grabs for those diving deep into quantum computing. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.